Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Armory models and surprisingly it is modded in 148 scale, it copies aircraft, it's fairy fly catcher, late production version, British interwar aircraft carrier fighter and now we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review so we are going to check it and see what is actually supplied in this kit. But as I said, this is quite an usual genre for this manufacturer and it is really good to see that they are trying something new uh, together with all these usual, usual subjects, let's say. So first of all, box is surprisingly small for 148 scale aircraft kit. Here you can see comparison with my hand. We have really beautiful box art, so maybe it would be cool even to see it as a poster. And here on the side you can see two marking options which are supplied in this kit. I hope there are more, but I mean maybe for some modders it will be enough. And here on the opposite side you can see some safety devices and also um, address of the manufacturer. And of course that it's not a toy. Okay, so box structure is typical for this manufacturer already. So we have cover printed top section and also sturdy white cardboard box. And in the meantime, let me remind you that we have special support button on our website. So you can help us financially because it's done via PayPal. And of course you decide how much will be sent on our account. But all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment. Or maybe for fresh kits to be reviewed on our YouTube channel. So here you can see what is hidden inside. We have all resin parts and plastic parts packed together into one plastic bag. Then we have assembly manual here and color printed marking guide, which is obviously dedicated to several marking options, but we will check it a bit later. First of all, I would like to start with this, with plastic parts. So just give me a second. It is surprising that whole engine is copied uh, with help of resin, but we are going to start with plastic parts as I said before. So here we have first gray plastic sprue. Let's zoom in a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So here we have Visage House, which feature a really convincing, I would say, um, imitation of the fabric surface. And we have also riveting here and recessed panel lines. And note the parts division, because we have two halves and one bottom part which is molded separately. Um, it's really cool because you won't have seams at least in this area. We also have here separate elevators and tail wing and also separate wheel tires and wheel rims. What should also make it easier to paint these parts. And if you flip it over here inside you can notice that we do not have any guiding pins. So if you would like to uh, ha have some help with this you will have some hard time here because you have to do everything with your own hands. And if you zoom in a bit more here you can check all this detailing in the cooling area. It looks really surprisingly well, so it's just a matter of careful painting. And of course, do not overpaint, let's say, or overflow it with primer and paint, because otherwise you end up with lost panel lines and you have to do everything once again. Next we continue with wing parts, so they are molded as one piece parts which is also cool because you won't have to deal with separate halves and here you can see them closer. Again fabric surface looks fine but I can see that in some areas you have to polish them a bit because it is visible this plastic flow how it was uh, flowing into the part and here on the opposite side you can see the parts are more or less smooth, I would say. But again, we have really um, good, I would say, thin attachment points, separate elevators, actually ailerons. So it's just a matter of careful assembly and you'll be good to go with these parts. Next, we have separate parts for the tail surfaces and everything looks fine. Again, everything is molded as one piece parts. But really surprising to see here a small amount of flesh on the corners of these parts. It is cleanable with sharp knife, but still, I mean, I'm a bit surprised to see it in 2020. But let's not forget that this is a sh more or less short run kit, I would say. So that's why you might have small amounts of flesh even here on the small parts. 
and this is something you can't avoid so if you came here for a clean crisp clean parts this is not the right kit because it's more of a kit where you have to do everything with your own hands it's not like ready out of the box some moments have to be adjusted and you have to acknowledge it because otherwise you will have a hard time as I said before so here we have a lot of thin parts as well so be ready for this stuff and of course be careful while separating such parts because it's really tricky to keep them intact especially while using um, maybe plastic cutter or maybe cleaning them after plastic cutter now I'm trying to remove the resin parts so that we can check what is actually supplied in resin so let's remove this plastic sprue and here we have these parts so maybe we can zoom in a bit more as far as you can see these for example two are machine guns next we continue with various parts for engine and they're supplied in several pieces as you can see here and just to clarify engine is molded out of resin or casted out of resin so that's why we have all these minor beads also supplied out of resin and they were quite fine of course you will have to delete or let's say clean all this flesh around them but that's not such a difficult task and of course uh, final result will only benefit from resin on your model and next we have another plastic bag with engine parts so just give me a sec here we have a lot of thin parts and first of all we have this cylinder blocks for the engine so we can zoom in a bit more here you can see them that's the central part where you have to attach all these cylinders and then as you remember there was a separate resin in a separate plastic bag so just give me a second it is thinner so that's why it is separated into the its own plastic bag and I will show it in a second okay I'm not sure where these parts will go definitely they will be connected with engine maybe they will be copying exhaust I mean this to this one and I can flip it just like this so you can see it and here is another one these are definitely copying the exhaust but here we have various external equipment which will be also um, molded or casted out of resin so you have to use CA glue you have to use primer and this is something you can't avoid and of course you can't avoid assembling engine because otherwise you will have aircraft without engine next we go on with another plastic bag let me zoom out a bit so this plastic bag is dedicated to various bonuses for this kit first of all we have two decal sheets and they look quite funny I mean this is not a pure blue or pure white decals paper so that's why it looks a bit strange but printing quality seems to be fine so I really hope that they will be easy to apply on your model and next we also have special film which will be used for um, dashboard on this aircraft and also for the windshields as you can see you will have to cut them and install onto your aircraft that's a bit tricky procedure but it's doable and of course final appearance will only benefit because these parts are obviously thinner than original plastic parts let's say and now just give me a second to pick up these decals and next we also have small cardboard with P parts here it is so here we have several P threads, they will be used both for external and internal equipment. For example, instrument panel will be copied with P as well. So be ready for this and it looks fine. I mean it should add some fine detail into the, your aircraft, but it will require some patience because it is really small. Let's not forget that this is a World War I aircraft which is um, molded in 148 scale next we have marking guide and I'm just checking it so here we have three marking options on the cover as you can see these are quite colorful aircraft so it will be interesting to copy them and oh so there are three more that's really surprising that's nice 
in total we have six marking options as you can see they're all shown from bottom and from the top and of course side profiles were shown on the previous photos and here you can see also stencils application guide on this aircraft but it's really cool that we have six marking options out of the box um, we can say that bonus point goes only for this and the last but not the least is the assembly manual so here it is black and white brochure parts map on the first page and next we go on with assembly process which is um, which starts with engine and why I'm laughing because straight away you'll be working with resin parts and maybe also with some PE parts I guess but I mean just to make it sure there are some thin plastic parts going on the seventh step so it's not like you're getting to relax afterwards you're assembling cockpit then you're installing cockpit between fuselage halves and here we continue with landing gear system and cooling ports Next we have wing struts and the special holders for machine guns which are copied with PE parts as far as you can see and you have to bend some PE parts and here on the last page we have rigging scheme because this aircraft had rigged wings so you won't be able to avoid it even in 148 scale you have to do it and by the way exposed engine might be a good point for painting and weathering it in order to display it on finished model. So, as I said, this kit should be already available on official Armory Models website and it looks like a decent kit in 148 scale for professional modelers who like um, interwar period airplane. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!